All right, folks, welcome back once again to my channel. We are on day 254, going into 255 in season five of our stalker run. We left off in Forlorn Muskeg, and we are in a cave. I think it was the one that goes to uh, Bleak Inlet, if I remember correctly. We're going to swipe our charcoal. We're going to find our way out here. We're going to get us a drink after we get us a bite to eat here. And we're getting real close to being done in Forlorn Muskeg. This is the uh, 10th, and you will see this on the 12th, leaving us about two episodes before I plan to be at the airfield. So um, we'll finish this one up, and uh, hopefully real soon, and then we're headed to Broken Railroad in the lead up to the expansion pass that I know the console players are really looking forward to because they have waited patiently since December the 5th to be included in the Cool Kids Club. <laughs> no offense, no offense, console players, we love you. Uh, anyway, uh, should have bought a PC. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, saying a cool uh, GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it. Uh, had a picture of The Undertaker from WWE, which I don't watch, but anyhow, I happen to know who he is. Anyhow, it's, uh, the caption was, if you look it up on uh, Discord or in the GIFs or whatever, and just look up console, and uh, it's, it, I found it hilarious because the, it's The Undertaker, and he pops up out of this casket, and it, say, it says uh, PC, PC gamers, whenever they pass away and find out that the uh, that uh, console or that people are trying to console or console their family so anyhow um, I know a lot of you's probably heard of it but I find it was funny and I'm a little behind the times and so I just seen it long long ago so anyhow we got this nice wonderful welcoming blizzard here at uh, forlorn muskeg and i'm not real comfortable on this map so we're going to tuck our tail between our legs and run back up here in this cave and wait for this to pass i'm assuming i can find this cave again it's not exactly that cold but i'm also in a windbreak right now so weather has not been cooperative on this map for us in the least Fog and fog and fog and fog and fog and fog. You get the picture here? Ah. Man, that, that, that coal down there is a trick. You go to click on the coal and you end up leaving. All right. So while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and we can nap a little bit here. So we're going to. I'm going to do about a two-hour nap. I love the music in this game. Back out we go, see what it looks like. Still raging. So let's go back in. We're fully rested, so there's only so much we can do here. So what do we got? Food-wise, not a ton, but uh, water, we're in pretty fair shape, so I don't really feel the need to make any. But, don't have much else to do, so let's make us some water. another piece of another stick don't we mm. Mm -mm -mm. yeah it's gonna work how long that take five minutes how about barehanded ten minutes that's what that'll work
We're just passing time anyway. And nine minutes still boiled. Uh, I mean, we got uh, two left. Yeah, it, ain't, it might. Well, probably not, but we're going to try it. Nope, didn't make it. And that's okay. We don't mind. We're mostly just passing time anyway. Okay, now we can see. One more time without the oops. So that was the way to Blink Inlet. So we're right here. We got a cache over here. Cache. I think somebody said it's pronounced cache. Uh, over here that we want to go find it. Might be something good in it. I don't know. Things are getting really, really busy around the house here. Um, and I say that to say this. Um, I'm hoping not to miss any episodes over the summer, but uh, things get a little bit crazy over the summer around here. Those who have played games with me for a while uh, know I tend to like vanish for months at a time when the, uh, when the weather starts to warm up. Uh, meowsers and uh, wind and different ones who have been around me for a while, they know how that works and they're accustomed to it but uh, I figured I better warn you guys I hope not I am hope I don't want to miss any episodes but I tell every year I seems like I take on a little bit more and 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 uh, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming of course uh, I've mentioned several times I've homeschooled my boys uh, of course we've got chickens we got goats we've got rabbits uh, uh, I've got uh, donkeys up the road that aren't mine, but I'm, I'm responsible for. There's uh, one steer, not mine, but I'm responsible for. Uh, some turkeys, you know, some pigeons, some pheasants, some quail, a lot of different things uh, that I either, if I don't own them, I'm at least responsible for them. So I've got all that. And, but I also have, every year it seems like I add just a little bit more. And this year, I'm, uh, of course I can too. I do my own canning. Uh, no judgments, no judgments. My wife works. She's a very, very hard worker. And she, does, she doesn't want to be domestic in any way. And I'm okay with that. You know, I don't want to say she doesn't want to be domestic, but she just... She likes to work, and she has been uh, she has been on her job for 22 years. She's a nurse, just an absolute. Honestly, she's my hero. Uh, a lot of people say that on stream, but you can. I, I, I really, I really do. I mean, she's totally my hero. Uh, anyway, she uh, she's been on her job for 20 years, 22 years. So she works, and I have. The homeschool, I have the animals and all that stuff. And like, like what I started to say is, I take on a little. It seems like I take on a little bit more every year. Well, this year, um, I'm adding uh, fermenting, not alcohol. Nobody gets excited now, especially you, Mausers, if you happen to watch. Uh, calm down. But no, vegetable fermenting. Uh, I think. Uh, to kind of paint the picture, think uh, sauerkraut, if you're familiar with sauerkraut. Uh, that's made through a fermenting process. And it's just one one thing. So I'm looking at fermenting and, uh, of course, canning. And I dehydrate things. And, you know, it's just off-grid stuff. I'm not off-grid, obviously. I, I make YouTube videos and I play games. But... Uh, Looks like it's off to my. I'm trying to figure out where this is. I got Raishi's point. Where's the Raishi's at? 
down there. There's one there. Okay, the Rishi's point at it, so I'm thinking it's up here. And of course, we don't know if it's loose rocks. We don't know if it's bot. Uh, but anyhow, so this year I'm adding on fermenting, uh, something I've never done before. I just ordered the stuff today uh, to start fermenting. But I'm also... Um, I've been wanting to do bees, honey bees, for a long time. Uh, they're good for your gardens, and of course, then there's the honey, and plus the honey bee population's not in real good shape right now. It's been a real, they've really suffered from all the GMOs and the chemicals that are being used nowadays. Uh, GMO crops have been killing us, some of them off. Of course, you know, nobody will say that, and I'm probably, might probably in danger of being censored for saying it out loud, but anyway. Uh, my aunt had a bunch of honeybees that got into a GMO field and the entire hive died. So, say whatever they want. Facts are facts. Anyway, uh, not going to do a soapbox moment. Anyhow, so I'm going to do honeybees. Uh, kind of help the honeybee population out. Help my bottom dollar out a little bit. Where in the heck is this cache? And so that's going to be something new. But I'm not going to buy my bees because when you... I was watching a guy, one of the... A real expert on the stuff. Uh, he's a doctor of something. But <laughs> for whatever that... If that means anything. But anyhow, he... Uh, he was talking about how people order their bees. Like they'll order bees out of Georgia. And they live in Minnesota. And of course they bring in Georgia bees. And the Georgia bees... Uh, of course, they, they forage and they go out of their hives. And the Georgia bees go uh, in a, end up breeding with the uh, Minnesota bees. And it actually weakens the Minnesota bees cause they're, because they're not accustomed to that climate or the diseases in the area. So anyway, long story short, the plan is to... Uh, see, I missed it. It's back there on the left somewhere. But the, uh, so the plan is I, I'm, I've been studying up how to trap my own bees. So I'm going to try to trap some uh, local, uh, hey, that looks promising. I'm trying going to try to trap a local swarm, which will help the local population. It's free, uh, you know, other than building your materials and stuff. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to try and go that route. So that's something new on the list. Plus, I'm wanting to fence in a bunch of new areas this year. Uh, give my goats a little bit more stuff to eat. This doesn't feel right. I don't know where this cache is. But anyhow, bottom line, that all is uh, new stuff. See, there's three Rishis that should be pointing directly at them at the cache. Cash. Let's see if we can find them Rishis. That's probably uh, probably our best bet, I'd say. I thought it was going to be up here, but there's Rishis. I mean, there could be more along these lines over here or something. Wasting a lot of time looking for this cache. It better be pretty good. I don't think this is it. I'm wasting a lot of this stuff too. Charcoal. See now, I, but I'm like right in the middle of it. So if I walk towards, okay, those rishis are, it showed me where I was. Come on, give me the thing. Showed me where I was, it showed me right here. So if I go due east, from where I'm at, I should find the cache. Where's my stick? So that's north, and east is would be right there, right where I thought it should be. But I'm not finding it. There's the, there, yeah, there's the, it looked like it was 
past those rishis because there's some more rishis there and there's rishis back there so it should be right where I thought it was I'm just not finding it what am I what am I missing what am I missing here And that's lined up right here. There's not no I don't I can't find any loose rocks anywhere. So it should be up on top. And that's what makes sense is up on top. So anyhow, um, the kind of the, the, the end of everything I was just saying was um, I'm going to try not to miss any episodes, but it could happen because I get very busy. All right, we're pointed at this right here. I get very busy in the spring and summer. Did I... I kind of feel like we're looking for a rock cache or something because I'm not seeing any boxes for sure. Maybe it's a stump. There's a couple of stumps here. No. All right, now I'm getting frustrated. I mean, I know I'm lined up on them. There's Rishis there. There's Rishis there. And if I line up the Rishis right there, which is right here, I should be pointed directly at it, slightly off to the right of my location. I should be right there. It should be right here somewhere. Unless I can get farther up there. I don't think I can. Hey, that's... Uh, is that markings? No. I'm not finding anything here. Can I get farther up? Maybe I can get farther up. Running out of daylight looking for this thing. I don't think I can get any further up. Maybe. Maybe. Eh, maybe. Haven't I already haven't I already been up here though? Yeah. This definitely doesn't look like some place you ought to be walking, but maybe maybe we are. Huh? There's definitely you can definitely get here. We're not quite lined up on it yet, but we can definitely get here. What's that? I don't. I, I've never seen a cache that that was that hard to get. What's that? I guess that's a footprint. I don't know. Let's see what we can find here. All right. Doesn't seem to be any predators close. So let's look at our mementos. Uh, mementos. What's wrong with you, Killa? Get the right thing. Um. It made it, I left some gear behind for you to find. It's the best way down. No, it's a cache. Outside the wall, I heard wolves last night. No, that's not it. 
to return mom's things, no blame, I did what I could. A sturdy rock above the field. Now, that one I remember was at uh, uh, another map. Way up to the old dam seems open again. Better check it out. Okay, that's not a cache. Oh, crap. Have to make the can the hat. Okay, that's not a cache. She's been hoarding those stems and hiding them in piano. That was at Melton. In that cave on the upper ridge. So many. Okay, that was back at Mystery Lake. That's at the. That's at Mystery Lake. That's not a cache. Hollow stump. I don't think that's it. But we could go look at a stump, I guess. And no, a hollow stump. Don's lockbox. I don't think that was here. Behind the lake, that wasn't it. I don't know that one. And it don't even tell us where it's at. The sun setting. It's going to get a lot colder soon. Broken Railroad. Mystery Lake. Broken Railroad. And the two and bro okay, two and Broken Railroad. Black Rock. Oh man. There should be a better way to check these. I mean, like when I click on this, can I get the, uh, I should be able to get the note attached to it or something. But it says it's the cache. It should be here. That's what's got me frustrated and it should be lined up with those rishis. The only one that made sense was hollow stump, but that, that doesn't, hollow stump, that's like a tree thing. Or not, a, not necessarily a tree thing, but I think that was a different map. Is it a, is it a stump? Maybe. I don't see nothing about a stump here. I don't see anything on that stump or that one. Hmm. It's kind of a little doodad here. Maybe we can get up. No, we've already been up here. All right, folks, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to look, go look this up. I'll be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. I got a little bit of an idea here. Uh, kind of forgot to check something. Uh, or I forgot to restart you right off there. Sorry about that. Uh, I think I have an idea. And I think I've just been really unlucky in the way I'm uh, looking. Somebody, in one of the posts I read uh, seemed to, uh, there it is right there. I didn't watch a video, but I read a deal that said, hey, 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 hey. Something's gotta go. That's, uh, I was talking about making a pair of those. That's, uh. Mm, no, you don't know what to do. Ugh, they're so heavy. But they're so awesome. They got 10%. Uh, and they're so awesome. 3.6. I mean, okay. Uh, it's almost dark. We wasted a lot of time on that. I don't remember. Uh, I think that was a Reddit post where I finally found it. I hate to say that because I really don't like Reddit. Uh, sorry, folks. If you like Reddit, great. I'm not a fan of Reddit. But uh, I was getting really frustrated, and I know you guys were getting tired of watching me walk around in circles and wasting all my charcoal. So, but there it is. Uh, it was in a tree bark of the stump. And I got to figure out where to spend the night. I guess we're going back where we were again. It's 25 minutes of this episode, and we haven't gone anywhere. We're going to ride around the corner and back twice. 
<laughs> down on the cor down on the corner, cloudy in the streets. Um, yeah, sorry. It was a good song. And I pro and I probably totally blew the lyrics, but that's okay. For years, uh, my mom had me convinced that uh, CCR, Cre Creedence Clearwater Revival, that their song, uh, what was it, Bad Moon Rising, um, she had me convinced for years that, that what they were actually saying was bath there's a bathroom on the right. And uh, so, you know, there's that. I'm completely lost right now, folks. How much what firewood do we have? I don't think I can get my bearings in this. Nope. All right. I have no idea where we're at. I'm lost. Oh, come on. Get the right thing out, Bob. It's not my fault. It's Bob's. This looks kind of like our cave, but it's not. Okay, I'm lost. It's official. I am officially lost. Let's, um... Some of this looks slightly familiar. But I think we're gonna have to ride this out outdoors. We've got food, we got water, we just need some, a uh, little of this. There's nothing. Are you serious? Oh, that was not cool. Oh my word, that was not cool in the least. Arg. All right, well. Hate to waste all that lamp loot, lamp fuel, but. Wasn't that bad. I need to drop something. I know, Bob. I gotta find some place to weather this out because I am completely lost. And that is not good. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna yeah, This looks like a pretty decent spot. We don't. Why am I not showing any any shelter there? Why not? Why am I not sheltered there? I'm gonna need to eat soon. I'm not getting chill. I'm not getting my shelter prompt. What the heck? Definitely don't want to lose our uh, well-fed bonus after all this time. Why am I not getting any shelter bonus? I should get a shelter bonus somewhere. All right. Just for just for feed, I'm getting annoyed right now. We're not gonna get too carried away here because a good stiff wind could cause us real problems. This is not the safest, but with a fire, we should be pretty much okay. I think. I hope. Oh wow. 
Nice and bright out now. I'd be able to find my way around now at least. But it's late, so. Just gonna have to walk through the night nice and slow, hour at a time. Watch for signs of trouble, stay warm, don't die. I could probably, I could find my way around now, but I need to sleep a little bit. I'm getting wore out. And we already got a fire built, so. getting annoying or is it just me? Be might be daylight soon. An hour left on that fire. I hear something. Okay, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> That's like crap. Go ahead and throw another. Run that on. Let's go ahead and throw this on there. Go ahead and have a little bit of water because we've been out for a while. Should have just enough time to make it. Looks like I made it through another night. All right. Leave something behind. And a little more food. That's not bad, I think I'll keep that. I had to figure out what to do about them deer skin pants. Those things are awesome, brand new. They have tremendously awesome stats, but they're also very heavy. And I don't know what to do. Come on, ah oh, man. I was wanting to wait on the. There is a way to do this. If I got. Uh... I don't. Mm. All right, well, we can at least figure out where we're at and come back for it. I am totally lost. I got totally lost. Completely and totally turned around. And I, this ain't helping much either, so we're going to do this. Okay, we didn't get very far, did we? <laughs> awesome. Anyway, let's go get our charcoal. Uh, sorry about that. I was just I completely turned around. I didn't know where we were. little bit of a setback. I had no idea where that cache was. I couldn't find it for nothing. One of the posts I, I rushed, I think I probably spent three or four minutes going through posts on just, just to search. 
And uh, I've seen at least two posts accusing the devs of being sadistic. Sadists. Called them sadists. You know, over the memento caches. And I'm not going to say I completely disagree. <laughs> I'm not saying they're sadists. But I'm not going to say I completely disagree with the idea that they might be. You kind of have to be. To make a game like this, I think you have to be a little bit sadistic. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's just kind of how I feel about it. It's starting to cool off in here in the house. In real life, I may have to actually build a fire. Kind of weird. We've been having 60, 70 degree weather for the last week and now all of a sudden they're talking 26 27 for uh, a couple of days and it's like well nights nights not daytime so it's like i gotta bring all my plants in and lay, bring them in the house and and so they don't so they don't die there's the cursed stump up there now we can head over here and get this shortwave tower which is one of the locations we need I can't decide what to do about them deer pants. I mean, they're excellent. They're the best pants in the game, in my opinion. If you're not, a, unless you're in uh, lower difficulty, like Stalker, where you have combat pants, like what I am wearing right now. Slightly lower temperature, but uh, and slightly lower whatever, but uh, a lot lighter. So, uh, can't decide what to do. I'll have to think on it. Compare the stats when I have more time. Hello, bunnies. We, we should be pretty safe to map here because any approaching uh, wolf should go after the bunny. There's the vista. Which we're going to go up and get right now. Hey, 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 look at that. One of the uh, <laughs> that, uh, first Forlorn Muskeg uh, video, one of the comments I kind of got a kick out of said, I think the fishing episode was, uh, was more exciting. And I can't argue with that. <laughs> Sometimes when you're just mapping and looking for areas, it isn't very fun. But... Uh, It isn't, uh, it, it's, it's just tedious. And after a few comments that were made about the whole fast forward uh, video editing thing, um, I've decided I'm not going to do that. You have the option. If you choose, you can click right on through, skip over these parts. But those who just want to sit and listen to me babble about nonsense still have that option. Uh, so I, uh, I couldn't argue with that. That's, uh, that was, Seemed like pretty fair reasoning. Can't feel my feet. Getting cold out. Go up here and get this shortwave tower. Which is still going to be cold. So I think. Still cold. This is not typically a good place to uh, lay out a uh, fire, but did I just use the fire striker? Oops! Should have used that mag lens. Come on! Come on! All right. I didn't put that there. That'll warm me up, and uh, while I map this. Wow, it didn't warm me up too good, did it? What the heck? Did you hear that music change? That was creepy. That was really creepy. All right. So I got some, let's have a tin of coffee. Need to warm up a little bit. I'll do another one. Um, Another tin of toffee. 
few calories gives me a little bit of warmth. All right, there we go. So is there any loot up here? I mapped it out, but all right, where are we at? So we got, oh wow, we really got a lot of that, didn't we? We got Muskeg Overlook plus the tower. We picked up those saplings. Oh wow, did we, what are we missing? I, we gotta be missing something, let's see. Uh, that was that was huge. That vista that was huge. Uh, surveyed location select. Forlorn must get one place left. Which one is it? Um, I can't think. Hat Creek. I have no idea where Hat Creek is. Uh, it sounds like it's probably a tributary that pours water in here somewhere. And the only place we haven't been, haven't, well, oh man, I have no idea. Where, this, this, honestly, this looks more like a creek than anything. Hmm. All right, folks, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to look it up. Sorry, folks. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. I, uh, I wanted to double check because my suspicion was... It, since it's creek, it sounds like a tributary, and the only tributary I see is this. And I was like, if if I got to hike all the way up there, I wanted to make sure I was right. But I am. It's uh, it's in here. So it's right here is Hat Creek, and I don't know how we managed to miss that, but we did. So here we go, left, right, left, down the mountain, over the river, and through the woods to grandmother's house. We go. Uh, we're probably going to need some food, so let's go ahead and snatch this guy's uh, innards. Looks like we're warming, but we still got that bonus too, so that helps. Some of that. I didn't plan on this taking as long as it has today. Why have I got all... Is there two corpses here? That was a lot of feathers. Am I missing another another corpse? I don't see one. That was like five or six feathers right there, though. Oh, hey, look, a backpack. Hello. He's a backpack. Oh, hey, peaches and socks. All right, so we've got everything except Hat Creek. I don't think I can, I don't think I can get down this. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Yeah, I think I can. Oh, man. This is... Uh-oh. I might be committed. Tell me I'm not committed. Tell me I'm not committed. Because this looks really, really, really hairy. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Come on, Bob. Up, up Bob. Up, up, Bob. Up. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if this still works or not. I've only seen seen other people do it. I've never done it myself. The idea is that it picks you up just a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we're committed. Uh, wow, this looks, uh, this doesn't look good. Uh, this would be a really crappy way to end the, end the season, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Easy. Easy, easy. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Come on, nice and easy. Oh, we might have it. We haven't even cracked an ankle yet, but wait for it. We will. I don't believe it. Oh, my word. Look at that pack of wolves. Holy smokes. Wow, there's five of them there. We were just talking about that in uh, Discord earlier today about the, the 
what seems like maybe some uh, changes in wolves as far as more of them and uh, differences in the way they move. And uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but it certainly seems feasible. I mean, that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of wolves. But somebody had brought up the fact that they seemed like they were acting more like uh, football players, you know, z zigging and zagging and making it hard to really. And I can't tell if there's a difference or not, but I know they definitely are zigging and zagging a lot. Come on. All right. I can't believe we got down that mountain like that. Wow. That was pretty cool. If I if I didn't if I didn't know it was pure luck, I would I would claim to be smart. <laughs> but I know better. That was straight up luck. All right. So from here, we had to we got to stop off at uh, Poster's Camp. Well, we got to run up and map that last little piece. We had to stop off at Poster's Camp, get our st the stuff we left there, which was, uh, you know, a lot of hides and stuff. And then we we're headed to Broken Railroad. We've got two locations there and a rifle to pick up that somebody that somebody was watching a video and they uh, pointed out that I missed it completely, which was really sickening in a way because the f <clears throat> if you were watching the beginning of this, if you watched the beginning of this series, you know, I spent a lot of time looking for a, before I ever find a rifle. Well, there was a rifle in episode uh, one. Oh, no, that's my last. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's my uh, bow. So now we have to. We're not in a hurry. Remember when we left? I said that's going to break eventually. That's why we're carrying a rifle. No worries. Not upset, not scared. I'm not scared. I'm frightened, not scared. Anyway, so I forgot what I, oh yeah, the rifle, the rifle. I spent uh, I spent huge parts of the beginning of this series looking for a rifle, scouring all over the place and I couldn't find the rifle. Well, guess what? There, uh, as I just said, there was, uh, there the whole time there was a rifle in episode one and I think it was, yeah, it was episode one. And I just, I walked right past it. And so, I mean, I don't know how many episodes it took before I finally got one after that. But. Yep. I don't know if there's anything over here or not. I can't remember. I think this is where the hunting blind is, maybe. No, maybe not. Guess not. Anyway, we have extra bows over here at Poachers, so we're not worried about that. Where is Poachers? Right there. Just got to get across there without falling through the ice and freezing to death. Which I don't recall being very difficult. This is thin ice. Okay, there's my spot over there. And we've got the crampons on, which gives us like double the time on the ice before it actually goes through. So, I mean, I don't see it being a problem. <coughs> but we do have to still go get Hat Creek. Which is annoying. I don't know how I missed that. Well, I do too, because there was a lot of, there's a lot of ice up there and I was trying not to go over there. Now, when we go to Broken Railroad, even though I have five of seven, I think it's five of seven. I don't remember how many locations there is. I think seven. Even though I have most of it mapped because it's just a transfer or not a, it's just a pass-through map. Even though I have most of it mapped, um, I have no idea what's over there. I know there's wolves and all that good stuff. But, uh, I mean, I could get blindsided by about anything. But there is one of the coolest, in my opinion, one of the coolest buildings on the, in the game is on Broken, Broken Railroad. 
And that's that lodge. I love that lodge. It's just, I love the way it's modeled and all that good stuff. So. All right, so we're going, it's still pretty early in the day, and that's awesome. Get over this without falling. We go up here and sort our stuff out. And hopefully make it to Broken Railroad this episode. Of course, we're really heavy, and we're going to stay heavy. So I don't see any way of getting around that. That's cooked. That's cooked. That's fine. All right, let's see. All right, we need to harvest the. Okay, we're moving everything. Like a lot of gear. Yeah, it is a lot of gear, Bob. You're really fat right now. You're 150 pounds. <laughs> All right, so some things are obviously not going with us right now. So let's uh, look at this and let's look at our clothes. And if you do move all, it'll take everything that you're not wearing. And of course, we want to grab these two back, probably that back as well. Didn't make a big difference in our. Um, wow, we got so much. Uh, what to do here? Uh, let's see. Drop that. We definitely don't need that. Uh, we got all these hides. I definitely don't need this on us either. Um, drop 14 of those. Drop most of those. Oh, I hate to leave hate to leave that here. You know, uh, we'll be coming back from, uh, we'll be coming back from um, this way. Will we? I think on this for a minute. When we come back this way, we're going to be going towards Bleak Inlet probably. Which we're going to be coming back in this way. Oh, no, we're going up to Mountain Town next, Bill. Either way, we're going to be coming back through here. Because we'll be going that way. Um, yeah, we'll just run right up that way. So... I'm debating on where to leave this stuff. I guess we can leave it here. It ain't going to hurt nothing. We got a few items that we can, we're just going to leave here. That. Most of this. I'll go ahead and leave that for now. We don't need it. Mm, oh yeah, we got to drop the. Um. Oh yeah, don't. I will drop that for now. Drop this for now. Uh, drop this. I need to salvage that bow. I don't know if I can salvage the bow or not. I've never actually broken. I've never actually broken a bow. Come to think of it. No, all I can do is drop it. Okay, we're going to go over here and drop it. That'll help some. It weighs, I mean, that's a pound. Uh, 132 pounds. We got no sprint. Let's see. We got... I guess I could drop about half of those in there. And then I can drop all of these, pick one back up, two, put two back up, and then I can, uh, okay, I can get rid of one water after I dr eat and drink. Uh, let's eat. Drink. I got sprint now. Nope. 
Alright, so... Okay, I got Sprint now. As long as I got Sprint, I can do it. I can manage. Alright, so we got to go to Hat Creek. Which is... Let's see, where are we going from the radio tower? Radio tower is right... Okay, it's just to the left or right of the radio tower. So we'll be going kind of through there. Baiting on which way to go and then from Hat Creek we can head to break on Broken Railroad just got to figure out how to get across there the easiest radio tower where's the okay radio tower there we're going all the way over there okay we got to get all the way up over yeah so we're going to get back on the railroad till we cross that bridge I think. Hmm. 56 minutes. So now when we get to Broken Railroad, the first place we find to sleep, we're going to we're going to cut our episode there. Uh, I looks like I might be able to work my way across there, maybe. One day, if we manage to get everything mapped out, I don't know if I can get across. I'm hoping. Okay, we're good. Uh, if we do manage to get everything mapped out before we run hit 500 days, one of the other, one of probably the last achievement I'll work on is uh, visit every interior location in Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake. I think. So that'll probably be one of the ones where I work on. If we manage to get the entire map. But I mean, we're still a long ways from that. And we got some really hard maps to map. Well, one in particular, Bleak Inlet. Desolation Point isn't near as big as I thought it was. But Bleak Inlet, that's probably the last one that I'm really kind of, uh, I'm really kind of nervous about. Because I don't know it well. It's extremely cold. And there's two layers to it. There's an upper and a lower. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. If it gets foggy before I get to Hat Creek, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. I'm going to be a very sad killer. Very sad killer. Of course, I got to go around all this weak ice, which is uh, we're about right here, I think. I don't know why that corpse isn't on there. I think we're about right somewhere around here. That's all weak ice, so I can't cross there. I got to get across. Bob's getting tired. You remember we didn't sleep well last night. Okay. I guess I'm getting better at the color of the ice. Man, I'm going to be upset if it gets too where I if I get to Hat Creek and I can't map. I'm really going to not be unhappy. I don't dare map now, right now, to find out where I'm at because it'll take time and it'll be, it will be screwed. I will be screwed. I can't see the location. I think we're right. I think the, I think we're coming up right. I think it's down here. I think this is the where we're headed. I think. I hope. Sure looks right. I don't know though, I don't see where am I? 
maybe more I may be more like right here I've got to get there though and I can't see that rope climb was right at there somewhere Bob's exhausted, as usual. Looks like I can get across right here. I don't think this is Hat Creek. Cause I don't see the water coming down. I think we had to go up that way a little ways yet. fog's coming in like I thought it was, maybe. That's good news. Bob's about to drive me nuts because he's so overweight. He's a fat boy. Oh, we may not get over on Broken Railroad this episode. I get the Hat, Cre Hat Creek and then I'm going to try to find a place to crash which would probably be a cave I don't know I don't know how close we are to that cave oh it's so agonizing when he gets this slow and we're over an hour now come on Bob it's my fault for carrying so much I know I think this is a cave I'm thinking of. I hear the waterfall in the distance, so I think I think this is our cave. Yeah. This is where we're gonna crash right here. Which means this is where we're gonna drop a ton of weight real quick and then we're gonna run down there and get what we need. Come on, get in there, Bob. Let's go. Run to the back. Still gonna be overweight, overweight. There ain't much way around it, but at least I can. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh crap! I can't see. It's not gonna let me map in that, man. Fine. Bob's already whining anyway. All right, folks, we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode. We got a place to sleep. We got this stuff laying out here. Um, we got food. We got water. We still gotta hit Hat Creek which is just north of, just a little ways off of us here and the map is not cooperating as forlorn mess keg it never does it's not going to let me map even if i walk out there so we're going to drop go ahead and drop us a uh, bed roll right here and we're going to try to sleep man it ain't even dark yet crap this sucks all right so we're going to go ahead and uh, sleep Try to get through the night. Three hours at a time. Still not, still cold, not cold. So go for another three. Still not even really dark yet, which is annoying. Um. I have anything I can strip down or craft. I don't want to do those up. Remember a few episodes ago, somebody had pointed out 
that after you craft up your old man's beard, it gets, I think it's like three times heavier. So, uh, key, I like, I'm not, my new policy is to keep two ready to go and leave the rest uncrafted. Uh, let's see. Be great to, oh wow I didn't figure I'd be able to see but apparently I can must be a clear night out or something not cold at all so that's that's awesome uh, let's see looks like the next item would probably be maybe those must be a clear night or something. By putting this uh, cloth on this cl on this clothing, no, it's making us lighter, so that's a good thing. Sounds like a storm. We'll have to watch our temperature. Seems like we're still uh, still warm, so that's good. Another three hours. Storm's over. Looks like we're still warm, so we're still good. I really want to get this map done, so we're going to go to morning, then I'm going to run out there and I'm going to get Hat Creek and then come back up here and nap for an hour and cut the episode there. I know it's going to be a little bit long, but you guys know me. I like long. Seems like I'm always a little long. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, let's see. Okay, so we're going to run out of here real quick. because Hat Creek should be just around the corner here. Leave all our stuff right there. So, I think this is it. This is where, oh, 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 we got, we got company. You know, it's Forlorn Muskeg. It can't let go without a fight. I think we're at Hat Creek, but I can't be 100% positive at the moment. Wow, he's running away, which means he's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, here comes the one. Come on. Where's his friend? Not Hat Creek. Come on. I need a little breakfast. All right. I thought this was Hat Creek. Let's figure out where we're at. Make sure there's no other, no other wolfies about to mess with us. Thought we were here. And we're cold. Okay, that's not it. We're here. Wolf crook. Man, really? We missed it by a mile. Okay. Crap.
Well, so much for. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah. Do I have? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. There'll be more. Why are you winded, Bob? Come on, we're not even at. Not even doing that much. Come on, move already. What is your problem? Oh, this map hates me. That's okay, because it's a mutual feeling. It's blowing, the, the wind is blowing directly in my face. Alright, let's go pick up our stuff and slow walk. This we're in this cave here. <sighs> FM North of Poachers Cave in Cave. Two bear hides, and miscellaneous furs. Miscellaneous gear. Done. That'll, that'll all be nice and curing out right here. It'll be here when we come back. Uh, what all did I leave? Um, I'm going to leave the maple, I think. Take one maple with me. Take all my uh, three of the birches and the survival bow and the revolver, of course. Of course, I got to go get my bear hide before I forget it. And I think I'm going to drop that spare hacksaw here. Wherever it went. Oh, I already left it, son. I left, I guess I left it at Poachers. We're gonna let, we're gonna leave all that stuff here, which will put us back under weight. Because when we get over to the airfield, we should have uh, we should have sufficient uh, we should have enough uh, rabbits uh, cured guts. Yeah, that's it, cured guts. Provided they're not ruined, we should have enough to do whatever we need. So I'm not gonna bring any of them with us. Okay, so this is not Hat Creek, but the next one should be. Bob's finally warming up, but he's also on a wind break right now. Okay, here comes dinner. There's dinner. I don't. Eh, yeah, I'll take hide. Just dropped off all them hides and. Oh, Bob is really cold now. Why are you so cold, Bob? Or is your clothing wet? Maybe. No. I guess it's just that cold up. Drop any of this gear. All right. Well, I have to go warm Bob up, I guess. 
Oh, now he's warming up. Good. Start a little fire right here. Never make it, but Wow, it made it. All right. All right, we're out of here. We're not perfectly warm, but we're warmer. This should be Hat Creek right here. And we were here. I just... I missed somehow or another. I missed the uh, the trigger point for the for the location. Find out where it's at. It's not triggering here. Have I got to go up there maybe to get it to trigger? It must be super cold, man. down there in the middle of that mess. Pop squat right here. We're warming, barely. Hey, I got it right there. It never showed up, but I got it, I think. Let's double check it, make sure we're done. Forlorn mess keg is complete. All right. That was painful. I'm just going to call it what it is. That was painful. All right. We're going to find this place to end the episode. Still pretty early in the day, so we, we might just uh, build us a little minor camp over here somewhere and catch a nap. Forlorn mess keg is complete. That's a load off. I'm getting real tired of this map. A little longer video. Definitely going to be a big upload. 6.2 gigabytes so far. I know for a lot of folks, most folks, that's not a big deal. But with my internet, that's a big deal. A really big deal. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You know, it's crazy we haven't done Coastal Highway on this playthrough yet. That's usually one of my favorite maps to go through. But we'll be there. off this cursed map. <laughs> FM did not want us to leave. 
threw everything at us. They threw blizzards at us, threw fog at us when we needed one thing left. Wolves. But that's all right. We're just about free of it. At least until the trip back. I don't know. Let's see. We're going to pop on through the Broken Railroad because I can't remember what's close over here. There might be a place to, it's not a very big map, so there might be a place to sleep pretty quick. There we go, we are off of Forlorn Musket. Broken Railroad, of course we got a lot of it done, a lot of it's not, so. Of course we got, uh, Broken Railroad. We need three locations, which will be Landslide, Locomotive Engine, Rickety Footbridge, which is probably not going to be a big deal. All right, we can go ahead and get rid of those, uh, get those uh, things off and put our regular stuff back on. These. Which will help with the temperature a little bit. Uh, just one, I don't remember, it seems like there's a pretty good place to camp early on. I don't remember for sure though. So I'm just going to look real quick. Otherwise we'll just find us a shelter and sleep for an hour. I don't remember what all we need here. Let's see. We've got this. We went around the corner. I'll probably run up here. There's some uh, definitely some places to. Uh, there's definitely some shelter up here. Right back here for certain. Which we've already been back here, but already checked him. I think I might have found the spot. Or not. Find a better spot. I have trouble remembering my map sometimes, so um, not wanting to get. I'm almost seven gigabytes on this upload, man. It won't be. Oh, there's landslide right there. Okay, I think I. This might be a good place to. Uh, yeah, that looks like a great spot, don't it? All right, let's drop it down. I don't normally like sleeping outside, but uh, we're not going to sleep long. It's still uh, pretty early in the day. We're pretty tired anyway, so we're going to drop down a fire. And we're going to put down some uh, firewood. Still still only using cardboard matches, and we haven't even got Coastal Highway yet. So, so anyway, we're going to put that down. That's going to give us an hour. I'm going to go ahead and put down another one there. I think that'll be uh, sufficient. I'm going to get us a bite to eat to finish that off so we don't stink. Dry anything in trying to eat our face. And then I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to sleep right here for two hours. Still hear my fire. Alright, good. The fire held. Now we're later in the evening and we still got some energy left, and that's okay. We don't mind that. We can find 
next episode we can find us some uh we can find us a place to crash out for the night and then uh finish this map out next episode i think we can do it easily in one episode and then we'll start working our way over to uh the airfield and uh, get that map done and uh, help help our console friends to uh celebrate the incoming um the incoming expansion but anyway as always folks if you enjoyed this video smash that like button i truly appreciate all likes i appreciate all subscriptions all call my comments i love them i really do um smash that like button if you enjoy my content as a whole smash it subscribe get those bell notifications uh discord channel is open the link is in the it should be in the video description if not it is at the top of the youtube channel page my youtube channel page on the right hand side by all means come join come join the, dis the discussion in discord uh we have a lot of fun in there there's not very many of us yet uh, but there's a few and there's some great conversations a lot of knowledge uh come tell us you know your 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 hints your tips your strategies your tactics your constructive criticism your not so constructive criticism but please no matter where you leave that comment please keep it clean and we appreciate it no matter where it's at i appreciate it no matter where it's at uh uh, my wife, who actually does most of the hard work on this, I, I, I get to I get the fun. I get I get to make the video and and talk to you guys. My wife does the work. You know, she does the uploads and answers the comments, and you know, she she'll yell at me while I'm at, while I'm doing something. Hey, so and so said such and such, and I'll tell her. It's like, well, say so and so, and then she does the hard work of typing in those responses and stuff. So, hats off to hats off to Mrs. Killa. She's a hero. Uh, but anyway, as always, until next episode, y'all have a great game.